here is zone one. Let's see, these heads are just barely spraying. And you notice this massive puddle forming over here. So there's our leak over here. pop-ups and obviously the grass has grown in a little bit too tall for these As you can see some of these heads are just barely making it above the thick turf which has been well taken care of and then you got ones like this and then stupid things that they did like this well, why would you put two of those two quarters side by side put a half in there there's no reason for that So the front yard, same thing. Here's the mess that I can't even begin to understand. We got like right here in this corner where there's a gate, got a half head. And of course all the soil around it wasn't put in. This one is chewed up on the top. Again, this is another half head in a quarter spot. That's in a corner. So it's a 180 degree pattern where a 90 should be and it's also eaten up. But that's how the head was left by the previous guy. Just like that. On its side. Why? Over here. This one's completely eaten up and not operational. It's also eroded and sticking sideways. That should be a half head. This one's actually a metal top, so Hoorah has actually got one. But it also is eroded around. Here again, we have a quarter head. This is or a adjustable part that's good. But you see it's completely loose in the ground. Same thing over here. So just a mess. It's been shut off by the homeowner because they've changed the landscape. We've put in a patio here. Um, so a lot of the heads, like this one here, that one there, which that one can just be shut off. This one needs to be capped. This one over here also needs to be capped. But almost every single head on this zone is busted. This needs to be working because this one is actually water in the backyard area here. The customer has said they do not care about this strip um, at all, but we do need to get this one working again. Um, I don't think it's hard to tell where these heads are. I think there should, there should be one somewhere in here. I've got water. I'm assuming this head's probably working. It's just. Probably that head's probably not busted, so we'll not put that on the estimate. And if it ends up being busted, we'll just either give an adjustment or eat the cost. But um, I'm assuming this one's okay. I don't see anything dug up. There's just not enough water pressure to even check them. This one, of course, is going to be capped at the customer's request. Um, this zone, though, wasn't activated by the customer because he didn't care about this area, but we have to restart it because one, this area is not getting watered. And then two, this area over here, which we've actually got a little bit of st stress on the grass, is actually watered with this zone. Um, so we're gonna fix that zone and cap a lot of it off. So we're done. At least I sure hope we're done. So we replaced the total starting with, uh, let's, go, let's go 
and we're over here. Zone one, we buried this guy a little bit deeper, installed flex line so that basically now that thing can get kicked around and it ain't gonna damage or separate from its its base anymore. Put a little bit of extension on it, make it a little bit taller. That was zone one. Zone two, we did nine new heads. We replaced these old guys, I don't even know what the brand is, four inch pop-ups with um, six inch Pro Spray Hunter pop-up heads. So that actually went quite smoothly. And that is done. Going on to the front yard, we did the exact same thing. There were seven heads we went ahead and dug up and replaced with the um, Hunter Pro Sprays. These are all six inch pop-ups now, so they're, they're not gonna hit by the mower. They're all flex pipe installed, but uh, not gonna have any more issues. So number four, this was the nightmare zone that I don't even know why this guy, I, he must've taken advantage because this whole thing, the customer's out of the area and hired the guy to come in here. I guess after he hired the guy to come in here, his dog ate up some more of the head, so he came back out again. And I guess he was aggravated at that point, but no excuse. So we put in dirt here on this guy, re-leveled it. Uh, that one we had to dig up and rebury, put in dirt. These two were okay. That nozzle's also got a brass tip on it, but just put in dirt there. This one, the head that the nozzle was chewed up and off, so we didn't have to re-level it, but we had to pack in some dirt around it, put a new nozzle tip on it. These guys, this is another area where if you're lazy, just get out of the business, don't do it. Big rock right here, big rock. I mean, big rock, it's not coming up, big rock. Connectors, hard lines come in here and then we go into a flex tube. Um, we go into a flex tube arrangement. Well, what they had done is they just basically ran the flex tube from the hard lines here, right over here on the other side of that rock, put the heads, the heads were sticking way up, they were all, cockeyed and slanted to the sides. So what I did is took out all their junk, got a big rock here, dug up around the rock, put in longer flex lines that basically go around to the edges and around to the edges. And that way with that increased length, we get more flexibility in that hose to change elevation and put these heads down. So now they're at ground level, they're not gonna get hit. Hopefully over here, we don't have any big rains. This grass can fill in. I think what happened here before, this head's obviously been replaced, but we had washout, so put in some dirt there. That brings us into zone five. Zone five, we had this head. I haven't even been able to test this head yet. We'll find out here in a couple minutes when we fire it up. The uh, renters are currently not home, so I can't get in the garage and turn it on, but uh, that head is part of zone five, which customer had turned off. This one actually, it's gonna need, I didn't even see that. That's gonna need some dirt fill in at some point. Um, but anyway, this zone was turned off because the the owner put in pavers over here on this side of zone five and did not realize there were some other heads over there on the other side. So um, looks really nice, the work that he did. It's just it cut those other heads off, so we're seeing some death over there. So replaced this head, which his dog had eaten up and brought in dirt. Um, obviously back here, we capped it, but we did put in a flex line. So in the future, if he wants to come back here and water this little area, he'll have a spot for a head. Supposedly there's a head somewhere down here. So once we test the system, we'll find it, dig it up. Had another one that's capped out over here. Um, so that should be fixed. Okay, so that one's capped. This one over here, we're gonna... Uh, we're just gonna leave that in place. Worst case scenario is I'll put another head on it but we'll just shut that head off. That way it's there in case they ever wanted to grow some grass in this little area, but we'll just shut that off. So it'll still function, it just won't spray. Capped this guy over here, because the customer does not want this little strip, is not a concern for the homeowner. He doesn't care if this gets watered, so no big deal. Got that shut off. Then last but not least over here, we've got a single stream for his own. I think that's eight that sprays back here in the back part of the yard. We have a pop-up right here. That was completely gone. There was no pop-up there. So we had to install a new pop-up and some flex line. The dog chewed the, the entire thing out of the ground. So that head will water this little area. This head will water this little area. And we should be golden. Um, we did have one head 
when we were doing zone two, the line busted, um, and that was from me working on it. So had to replace that cracked line. So now it's just a matter of waiting for the the uh, renters to show back up again, and we'll run through the system. Show it actually up and running. That is now spraying like they should. It's just not the right direction, but we get zone one now. here all of these heads all buried oh, good. last but not least zone five got this little guy here turned him down got that one over there repaired this one's capped Don't need the pavers this one's capped that one's turned off that one in the corner is capped this little guy here has been replaced there was another one hidden here down underneath there that's now been replaced these little guys are up and running again like they should and this one was busted that i didn't account for in the estimate but that has now been fixed and replaced so this system is now 100% back up and running and ready to go. All right, we are done with this. There she is.